Hello. I'm going to try to do something a little different in this video. I'm going to do a little tutorial showing how I create my animated maps for my YouTube videos. You know I create a lot of videos about activities, going places, doing things, and I like to include a map that shows exactly how I got there. And uh, I've just discovered a new program to help me create those maps. The program is called Keyshape. It's a $30 program. It's for Mac only, but they probably do have similar programs available for Windows. But it's worked out very well for me, and I've discovered a lot of things I can do in the creation of maps, animated maps. And I'm going to demonstrate right now uh, a few things that can be done with this program. This is the Keyshape uh, window, the uh, program I opened, Keyshape, and I've imported a uh, image, a vector, a map that I created in another program, but I, I would say that Keyshape has all of the necessary tools over here to create this kind of image. There's a pencil tool, line, pen, you can do square, circles, and a type. I could have added these labels right in this program. But uh, some, sometimes other programs are a little quicker. But this program is quite capable of drawing vector illustrations. So now that we have the map in here, I'm going to show you how to trace a line from the boat launch area here to, let's say, towards the beach area on the, on the reservoir. I do have a, a symbol for a boat on the map, but let's get that out of the way for now. I'm not going to use that right now. Right now, we're just going to use a line to trace from the boat launch to the beach, a vector line, and we'll use the pen tool. Now you'll notice when I start, I'll start right at the boat launch and click and let's go over here and set the stroke, set the fill, set the fill to none, set the stroke to solid color, and uh, select, let's get, let's get a dark red, a nice dark red, yeah. And the width, let's do something like uh, eight, eight point width. Now when I type, now when I drag the, the pen out and click and drag, I can create a line with a nice curved line and, and go wherever I want with it. It's very much like Adobe Illustrator, the way this works. All right, when I'm finished, I can click over here and that will and there's this node tool here, which allows you to select individual nodes in the path, path and smooth them out if, if you think it's not quite as smooth as you'd like it to be. Alter the, the path any way you want. So that's a very nice ability. Okay, so now we've got this solid red line on the map. But the idea is to have it animated to start here and move across the screen move across the, the reservoir towards the beach. Now, how do we do that? Well, we'll select, again, we'll select this line with the selection tool, selection tool here, and we'll go over here to advanced stroke. Click down on advanced stroke, and there's something called dash, and below dash, it says total path length 1550.33. Now, select that, copy it, and go into dash and paste it in there. And also where it says offset, paste it in there as well. And you'll notice that the, da the line totally disappeared. Also, let's make sure at the beginning here, this, should, this, this is the, the timeline of the animation. You want to start at zero back here. So the next thing to do is to, to enable keyframing, auto keyframing. And that's this button down here. You click that, auto keyframe is being enabled and the timeline in advanced one second. Now, we want this to take longer than a second, so all we have to do is drag this out. We can even scale down the timeline a little bit so we can see more of the timeline. Let's go out to seven seconds. All right, now at the seven second point, you go up to the advanced stroke in the menu where it says offset, change offset to zero. Okay, now that makes the stroke appear. So basically, that's all you have to do to animate it. So I'll rewind to the beginning, turn this off, rewind to the beginning, and play. And you'll see the stroke will draw itself on the screen and uh, in a very smooth way. 
and go right up to the beach. It's just replaying. So that's the basic way to create an animated line on the screen. It's actually using the dash properties of an of a advanced stroke property. However, in my maps, I always like to use a dashed line uh, for progress. But you can't do that with this method, I would think, because you are using the dash property here to create the, the movement here. So I uh, came with an I got an idea of how I could do that, how I could use the same effect, but create a dash line. What what the what? Let's just call this path. I give it, it's good to give things a name. Let's give this a solid red line. Okay. What I found, if you duplicate it, if I select that and say, well. Uh, object, edit, duplicate. Okay, made a duplicate of the solid red line, but this one I'll change the name to dotted line. So I'll know which is which. Okay, for the dotted line, what it does when you make a duplicate, it makes an exact copy of the original right on top of it. And that's where we want it to be. The duplicate, the dotted line, for the duplicate, we'll go back into this advanced, make sure we're at the beginning at the zero, yeah, you know, we're at the beginning of the animation. Go back to the dash and the offset, and let's change dash to about three, I think, semicolon, and then we'll put in a gap, which should be about 20. Let's see if that, if that works. And then for offset, zero. So that created a, a dash line. But what's going to happen is that uh, I'm going to change the red line to the same color as the background. I need to get the color of the water. And uh, where is it? There. This is the color of the water. And I'll get the hex number. Copy that. and uh, go back to the uh, dotted line and the color and change the color of the dotted line to that same color as the background which would make it disappear all right now another thing to do is to make the width a little bit larger let's make it 10 and basically that's all you have to do as you can see now when i play this it will appear to be a dotted line that is going forward all the way to the beach. So that's pretty cool. That's what I like to do. And I can, of course, adjust the size of those dashes and dot, dots to make it a little bit more pleasing. But that's the, basically how you can do it. Now, I want to show you something else that can be done to animate maps. But first, I want to mention something that I didn't mention before, is that when you're working on a document in key shape, uh, it looks like it automatically uses fra 10 frames per second, but that's not usually what you want in a regular video. Most videos are 30 frames per second, so I'll change it to 30 frames per second. All right. The other thing I want to show, besides uh, a line advancing, advancing across this, uh, the, the water to the destination, <clears throat> is to actually use a symbol representing the kayak. Uh, and, of course, you can use it for a vehicle, a car, a boat, train, any vehicle that you used on your trip. If you could create a little symbol like this, this little boat symbol, and I can use that to move that across, to animate it across the screen. And it will, I'll show you how to do that. That's pretty simple. Okay. Let's say we'll start here. Another thing, it, with this uh, transform tool, you can rotate the boat like that. I'll make sure that the anchor point, when, it, when you have a graphic like that, make sure that the anchor point is in the middle. Let me just show you what the anchor point looks like. This little um, this little thing here. This can be moved around. As a matter of fact, sometimes it's off to the side somewhere, which will really negatively affect your animation. So you want to make sure that the anchor point is in the middle. And it uses the transform tool to show you where it is. Okay, that's 
a pretty good start. Again, we'll use the auto keyframing. Click on this button to, to enable auto keyframing, and let's move ahead again. Seven seconds is a pretty good time, pretty good length of time. And let's take a hold of the um, boat and move it to the beach. Now you can see there's a, a, a dotted line behind it. Now that's, uh, and you can modify that just by dragging on it. So, so we want, you'd want it to actually hit the, hit the land here. So I'll pull this down here. And you can see that's a pretty smooth, uh, there aren't as many control points in this. So you cannot make as complex a uh, wiggly thing. If you wanted to do that, you would have to do it in more than one step. But for this uh, simple demonstration, we'll start here, and let's see if I can put a little bit of a curve here. So it'll curve up there a little bit. And I only have two uh, uh, node points to edit here. Okay, like that. That's not a bad path. And you'll, But you'll notice that the uh, boat is not really facing. Let me just rewind it and show you what happens if I play it like now. It, the boat is just <laughs> the boat follows the path but is not aligned to it but we can fix that select the boat and go to object transform orient along path okay now but let's see it's not um, the boat still is not the right quite angle let me get put into the transform tool and rotate so we're going to rotate the boat a little more so that it more accurately lines up with the path. There it is. Now, rewind it. Let's click off so that, and let's see what happens. There's the boat. And now you see it's the boat is better aligned to the path and turns smoothly right up to the beach. Well, that will pretty much do it for this uh, demonstration of what to do. Uh, I just want to add another fun thing is you can, when you've got an object selected like the boat here, you can go to filters, add a filter, and there's a little drop shadow filter, filter which has kind of a nice touch, I think. So let's play it with the drop shadow. There. Very nice, indeed. Now the tricky thing would be to have a line following the boat as it's moving. That can be done, too. It's a little complicated, but maybe I'll try to show you how to do that at some point. But anyway, that will conclude this particular uh, tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions or you'd like me to show you something else, let me know. I'd be glad to see if I can do it for you. So that will conclude this demonstration of uh, key shape for using animation, animated maps. You can get key shape from the Mac App Store. I think it's $30. And uh, and I've been playing with it quite a bit, and I'll show you not right now a few examples of some of the experiments I've done with Keyshape. So, all right, thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something from this that was very useful to you. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>